Hello guys, welcome back to Bin's Black DXB, and now I'm gonna share to you how to convert the alternator, uh, big connection, big Y connections, uh, 440 VAC, 50 hertz, and to uh, double Y connections, uh, 240, 60 hertz VAC. So now let's. You have to think first if you say conversions to the alternator. You have to think. Uh, what kind of alternator you have so if it is convertible or not because uh, you need to know that uh, your alternator is co convertible like you know the 12 leads uh, it is possible to convert while the 6 leads uh, it cannot be converted into double Y connections by the way guys I'm gonna show you also how to adjust the RPM or the frequency of your engine uh, and to uh, 60 hertz it is from 50 hertz to 60 hertz so just tune up guys I'm gonna show you okay hello guys I'm here now at uh, our generator this is a uh, 180 kVA so I will show you where's the injector is so now as you can see this is the injector pump and this is the uh, control lever this is the control lever this one so where you can adjust the fuel for the rpm and it depends on what you hurts what you needed so uh, once you adjust this one this will increase the rpm of your engine uh, how much the fuel you can open for this side so and this one is the fuel solenoid which is controlling to stop the engine or to close the fuel line for the injector so it will stop the engine it's not giving the fuel if you are increasing also the rpm of your engine so you have to think first also you need to adjust the avr of your alternator because it will vary so the settings is you have to in to change the settings of your avr as well so as you can see this is our EVR uh, this is a uh, Leroy Sumer uh, EVR because this is Leroy Sumer alternator so in order to adjust the the settings to uh, 50 and to 60 Hertz you need to uh, adjust from these uh, switches hello guys at this point I'm gonna show you the connections of the big Y connections now as you can see I'm here at the alternator now as you can see uh, this is the T1 T2 and T3 so this is the T4 T7 which is linked together and this is the T8 and T5 which is linked together also T9 and T6 which is uh, link also and this is what we call our neutral which is connected and link the T10, T12 and T11 so this is what we call the connections of the big Y connections so now I will show you also the connections of the double uh, Y which is the connections uh, for the uh, voltage of uh, 40 and uh, you can put it at 60 Hertz or you can use it also as 50 Hertz and this is now the connections as you can see there is a big difference so this is the T1 this is the T2 and this is the 3 T3 and now as you can see there is no link uh, between the T7 T8 T9 and but there is the link between the T1 and T7 T2 and T8 and T3 and T9 which is our neutral now becomes uh, T6, T5, T4, T12, T10 and T11 this is now the neutral which is the common why there is the link because this is now become the double connections which is uh, double Y connections or what we call the parallel connections get it guys so guys so now I will show you now to how to adjust okay now it's we need to start the engine okay
okay guys that's it for today i hope you like and share and don't forget to subscribe uh, see you again